Halcon here for Halcon Does FTB Horizons Daybreaker, episode 9. That's right, 9. We're awesome. So, well, I wanted to work on some things, and I think last episode I talked about working on advanced generators, and I talked about working on, um, let's see, what was the other thing I wanted to work on? Oh yeah, uh, matter overdrive. However, I need to prepare for matter overdrive. So what I need to do is I need to find a gravitational anomaly. That's really what I want to work on. So before I could do that, I wanted to work on blood magic because I've got to get to tier 4 so I can make a teleposer. Once I find my gravitational anomaly, and I fear that I... I do not fear that I will fail to find a gravitational anomaly because I am determined to find a gravitational anomaly. Whoa, what is that? Ah! Anyway. So, I'm going to be working on Blood Magic. So, let me show you what I'm working on. So, I had to pick a place to do Blood Magic. I'm like, where do I want to do it? I needed space. So, I decided this hill would be a good place. You have to ignore my structure. It's uh, kind of a haphazard, throw-together thing. But it's going to go here. And I'm going to build my, my uh, Blood Magic uh, primary altar thing here. Out of that, which is colored cobblestone gray. In this mod pack, it looks pretty good. It's not horrible. And then I'll build on top of that. So that's going to be working on. I'm working on blood magic. Yes. Impressive. Yeah. No? I hope it's impressive. It's, oh, I think it's impressive. Anyway, we'll be back soon. And until then, stand by. Yeah, stand by. Hey, peeps. We're back. And it's raining. So I'm working on this blood magic. So I'm up to tier 2. I'm trying to get to tier 3. I'm on my way there. I should be making some sacrifice runes or self-sacrifice runes, but I'm just trying to rush this through. I think I can do it. Um, I may work on blood magic later. However, I am looking forward to getting to tier 4 so I can, for a purpose. So, that's my goal. Tier 4, trans, transposers, call it a day. Hey, look, it's lopsided. I'll fix that. Anyway, I just wanted to bring you back and kind of show you where we are. Um, we made a bunch of potions of generation, mostly because they have an exchange energy. <laughs> I wanted to do potions of healing, but they don't have an exchange energy. So I just created one and uh, replicated it many times. And then I've been sacrificing myself and just healing through it with the potions of regeneration. There you go. Let's kill a skeleton. Okay, get rid of that guy. I'm going to have to put a magnum, magnum torch out here. Because there's a lot of mobs and I don't like them. My other magnum torch is under there. It probably stops about here. Roughly. That's what I'm thinking. But if I put one under there, that'll be good to go. Sweet. You see that lightning hit there? That was awesome. Alright, that's all I got for now. I'll bring you back when I've got a tier 4. Later, peeps. What's up, everybody? We're back and we have a tier 4 blood magic altar. Yay! So I went ahead and started investing in these sacrifice, self-sacrifice um, runes, and uh, so I make things go faster. And I figure I might use it for stuff later on. There you go. So went ahead and did that, and I made dun 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 teleposer. Made two teleposers and a teleposer focus. You'll need those and this lever to transfer your item, and I'll show you how that works. However, to make a teleposer, or excuse me, a teleposition focus. You need a tier 4 altar with 2,000 life points. And you just stick an ender pearl on it, and bam, there you go. Then you got to make two teleposers, which have a teleposition focus in it, two ender pearls, and six golden ingots. And that'll give you one of these. You make that twice. One will be the transmitter, and the other one will be the trans receiver. Is that the right way to say that? I don't know. That's how I said it. So I'm going to go look for a gravitational anomaly. This is going to take me a long time. Unless I get lucky, we'll see. So I'm going to go out and go searching and whatnot and see if I can find one. And then we are going to find a place to, once I find it, where to put a, a gravitational anomaly, which is a small black hole. Small black hole. That's right. So just give me some time, and I'll be back. To hoods. Hey, peeps. So here we are. 
looking around for an anomaly. And it's been a while. Yep. So I found two others. Actually, I found one and someone else found another that I actually moved on another server. So I know what I'm looking for. It makes a sound. And when you hit the area and you're flying, you slow down like you're in molasses. And I found both of the other ones in river. They were inside a river, under sand. So I'm just concentrating on following waterways. And I'm listening first. And hopefully I'll be able to hear it. you got to stay close to the ground so you get caught by the gravitational pull. If I happen to miss hearing it, I'm hoping I run across one and uh, end up uh, end up getting slowed and pulled to it, so I'll know it's there. Uh, let's stop for a second. Let the server load. So that's what we're doing. It's a process of elimination. <laughs> Where is it not? So there you go. I know it's exciting. But I just kind of give you an idea of what I was doing and give you a hint on how they were located before. So, uh, let me keep looking. Hopefully I'll find one soon. I don't know how long I can keep this up. <sighs> Later. Hey, peeps. And we're back. Okay. So, a very long time later, I had to show you what I found. This is awesome. So, oh, what's that? Get away from me. What's that? stick thing. It's an arrow. Okay, that was from the skeletons. Alright, so I'm looking at the anomaly right now. I actually saw some skeletons standing in the middle of the water. It kind of drew me some attention. I was like, why is he just standing in the middle of the water? Because they don't usually just stand there at night. And so then I started to get closer and I noticed the little particles pulling in. And then I flew into it. Okay, so I'm being pulled into it right now. My hands are off the keyboard and the mouse. I'm being pulled into it. And Where's the sound? I don't hear the sound. Well, there is a sound. I just don't hear it right now. So, things will get pulled to this spot. So, what I've got to do... Let's see. First thing I want to do is I want to try to get away. I'm trying to fly away very slowly. Alright, let's mark this place. I'm going to mark this place. Do do. Anomaly with caps all backwards. Okay, let's try that again. Anomaly. Uh, Anomaly. Save. Okay. It's on the map. All right. So now we need to dig around it and put a teleposer under it, and I need to find a place to put it. So let's go back to the base home. All right. Where are we going to put this crazy thing at? I've learned a little bit about them. I don't want it too close to the base, because they can do some really... Yeah, some really bad stuff. I could go way high. Or I could go way underground. What do you think? High in the sky or underground? Now, underground could be bad, because... When that gets to a certain size, it starts sucking out the blocks around it, and I tend for it to grow. However, I, and if it does that and it's underground, it's going to pull a lot of blocks into it, and the air really can't do that. I think we're going to go for the sky, so I need to make an angel block. I remember how to do it. I think it requires feathers. So we're going to go ahead and create an angel block, which is two feathers of sitting in gold. Feathers. I don't remember where feathers are. It's been so long since I played. It'd be like a mob drop. Oh, they're here. I need two feathers. Obsidian. Wrong. I know where to get obsidian from. As long as it's still in my book. Let's pull it out of here. Obsidian. What? Hold on. Exit. Go back in there. Ob. Sid. We got put back in. There's the obsidian. I got the obsidian. And I'm here. I must get a gold. Gold. There we go. 
go back to angel block. Come on, catch up. Catch up. Oh, there it goes. That's what we need. Okay. So, if you've never used angel block, what it does, it is allows you to place a block in midair. Right? And for now, I'll just use cobblestone. I've got some with me. So we're going to go above the base. So we're gonna, this is the center of the base. This one spot right here. So we're just going to fly up. How high? Really, really high. I don't know. Really high? Um, Maybe 175? Maybe 200. We're going to go block 200. Wow, we're starting to lose focus. Okay, 200. All right. So we get this block. We put it right below us. Bam. Okay. So now we're going to come down here. And we are going to build. Break an angel block, pops into your inventory immediately. It shouldn't drop away or do anything funky. Alright, so then we get our teleposer. Alright, find a teleposer, place it. Okay, it's set. Now what we want to do is we want to get the focus, this is teleposition focus, and we're going to set the teleposition focus. This is where I want you to teleport an item to. Right click. Okay, now it is set. You don't right click it on anything else because you'll mess it up. So then we're gonna go ahead and take this out of our inventory. We're gonna put this in our inventory. Okay, and then we're gonna go here and teleport to number. focus in it, okay, that tells us that, let me get this experience, that tells it where we want to teleport this thing to. Now we got to get the switch, the lever, we got to put it on the side. That's not it. Did I get it back? I did. There it is. Oh no, oh it's underwater. No, don't let it go in there. Dang it. Are we into water? Is the water all gone? The water is gone. Alright, let's try this. Lever, baby. And bam, it's gone. There we go. Now we don't have to deal with it anymore. And we just break the stuff and make sure we got our teleposer, teleposition focus, and our teleposer. And the lever, if you care about it. Okay. That was fun. J. Teleport to the home. There you go. And we're here. So, if we go up in the air, in theory, we should see platform. I can see the particles from here already. And there we have it made it. See that? Teleported did it. And there's the sound I was talking about. It does make the sound. I was telling you it made a sound. So 
what I want to do now, I want to go underneath. I need to get this. Ow. I took damage. Okay. I think I got the block. I hope I got the block. I did. Okay. Got my block. I'm going to go put those away. I don't need them. So, now that we've got that set up, I'm going to be setting this place, or the, that area up there, I'm going to be making that into a power supply. And that's going to be quite a bit of work. I haven't actually thought it out yet. Uh, how am I going to go about that? I've done it before, but I'm not even sure how much material I've got. Because I have to develop, I have to, I have to make um, matter overdrive. I have to make not real great tea. I have to make a space-time equalizer for me to wear. That'll keep a, the anomaly from sucking me to it. I can basically ignore it. I'm going to need a ton of dilithium crystals because I'm going to be making a fusion reactor controller, which is this thing, and I'm also going to be making a couple of gravitational stabilizers, which require this thing, which requires the dilithium crystals. When I said this thing, I meant uh, the thing I was just looking at. Where'd it go? There it is. Space-time equalizer. I'm also going to be making a bunch of these superconductor magnets, which is not a big deal. Those are pretty easy, especially with EE. And then I've got to make a bunch of the ring. I've got to make a bunch of fusion reactor coils. And where's the ring? Controller, do, do. Oh, it's, um, there it is, machine hole. I'll make a bunch of machine holes. And we're going to build a, a circular object around that. OK? That's going to take me a while to get things together. Let me fall. There we go. It's going to take me time to get all that together, and then I'll start building. When I'm ready to actually go up there and place stuff, I'll bring you back. Um, I mean, well, okay, before I go, let me show you the, the recipe here, the first thing I'm going to make, which is the space-time equalizer. i got to make uh, two separate superconductor magnets and a Heisenberg compensator. The Heisenberg compensator has the eye of ender, machine casing, and some Mark II and Mark I isolinear circuits with some dilithium crystals. This isn't that big of a deal. The circuits, this is the base uh, on how you make a circuit, and then you just upgrade these to other circuits. So there's a first level, there's a second level. So you take the first one, and then you put the gold on it to make it Mark II, and then you have Mark III, which has diamonds, and there's a Mark IV, which you would use emeralds. So let me get to building, and I'll be back when I can after I've got some stuff done. And we can, and then uh, anything interesting that comes up, I'll be sure to show you. Until then, later, peeps. Okay, so let's start making this space-time equalizer thingy. We'll start off by making two separate conduct superconductor magnets. There we go. One. And two. And basically, that's a tritanium ingot. We're going to go back. Why is this doing this? Do this. Okay. That's because I'm in the project table. It's a little laggy. I don't know what's going on. All right. So we've got those two pieces. Here we need to make machine casing. We've got some circuits, a lithium crystal, and an eye of ender. The eye of ender is going to require. Use these. I don't know if I have any of these anywhere else. Yeah, there's one. Blaze powder. I'll just make some more. Clear this out. Give me the blaze powder. Alright. So I need some blaze powders. Let's keep four. And let's make a couple of these since I got them here. A couple of those. Alright. Then. We need to make machine casing. Pretty simple. Bam. There you go. Machine casing. 
Get this out. And I think we're about ready. Can we make this now? Boom. There is the Heisenberg compensator. Okay. And then we should have everything we need. Bam. So now I have a space time equalizer. So let me go ahead and put this on and show you how it works. I'm taking off my clock work phase chest plate, put it in a chest slot like this. Wait, do I need to power it? Check for details. Um doesn't look like it has any power. Okay, we'll have to find out. Okay, we're flying up. Flying, we're flying, are we flying up? Yes we are. Very slowly. Oops, fail. Try this again. I haven't made anything else. I just wanted to give you an idea how this works. Now, I can't remember if I had a power enough or not. I'm sorry. If I did, well, we'll find out real quick. If not, then what will happen is I'll get within range and it won't suck me to it. See, it's not sucking me to it. I can just kind of go anywhere I want. There you go. Okay. Falling. Flight. Okay. Take the quick way down. All right. We are back with the next part. Okay, so now we just made a fusion reactor controller, which were four fusion reactor coils, two titanium plates, machine casing, isolinear mark, uh, isolinear circuit mark two and three, and to create the fusion reactor coils, you need lots of superconductors. Isolinear circuit mark ones and some titanium plates and a machine casing, which is easy. And a couple, and then the final product needs a two and a three. So now that we've got it, let's see. I got to put my thing back in my chest. This thing makes you move really slow. Where is my thing? There it is. Okay. Now we're going to try to place this controller the right spot. I can't remember how far it's. I think it's six from the actual um, gravitational anomaly. Do I have enough stone? I should have enough. Okay. So what we're going to do actually that looks about right. We're going to go ahead and get the controller place it you can see where I've placed it. I've missed. See, it kind of shows you where everything goes. I've missed my two. So we're going to go over here. Break this. Luckily it came to me and didn't get sucked into it. Down two more. Bam. Okay. Now, it shows it with the block in the center here. That's where the anomaly goes. And... Now it tells me that I have an invalid structure. So I've got to build the structure. And to build the structure, we're going to need a bunch of hulls and fusion reactor coils and a couple of, what are they called? Dun, dun, dun. I can't remember what they're called. Is it a matter decomposer? I think it's a matter decomposer. We need a couple of those. And the matter decomposers are going to go right next to the controller. And we're going to feed it, uh, those are the right devices. We'll be feeding it when the structure is complete to grow the anomaly. Now, one thing you don't want to do with the anomaly is you don't want to feed it any compressed cobble. Okay? Um, I learned the hard way. That's not something to do. I think I had a quintuple compressed. And it grew larger than the box that it's sitting in, that little uh, guide. It grew larger than that, and it sucked me and a tower about 40 blocks away, well, maybe 30 blocks away, into it. And that means it got bigger when it sucked all that other stuff into it. Okay, so we're going to try to do this one a little bit more controlled, and I've got some other ideas I want to try to see if I can increase, increase the power output. So stay tuned. I'm going to start making the pieces for the ring. Hey, what's up? We're back. So we've got some more of this titanium stuff. I need 
need to make. Oh, so I just finished making two of these matter decomposers. So I have checked my notes. That's what we need. And you need some sticky pistons, titanium plates, a matter energy conversion matrix, which is made with some Mark II SLNEO circuits, some ender pearls, iron, and the lithium crystals. And you also need to make an integration matrix. More dilithium crystals, machine casing, and a Mark II circuit. The final product requires a Mark III circuit, and you need to make two of them. So I have two of those now. I need to make the hole. If I can find it on my thing up here, there you go, machine hole. We need to make a bunch of these. And we need to make a bunch of these fusion reactor coils. Now the coils, I'm going to need nine of these, and then I'm going to need the rest in holes. Now I believe we build away from us, and it's going to give us what we need. So, that seem right? That seems right. Okay, so I got those in. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, three, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, three, stop it, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. That can't be right. <laughs> Four, three, five. Nope. That's three times four, sixteen. So sixteen of those, and nine of the others. Okay. So I want to make some time making some holes. Hole, H-U-L-L. -L. And I'm going to spend some time making the fusion reactor coils. We talked about these already. It's just a lot of a lot of resources to use. So, it's, that's what it is. So let's see, how many can we make? This, this. All right, take care of that. So I said I needed 16 of these. Well, I can make 14. And then I'm gonna need to make more of this. More of the tritanium ingots, I believe. In here. Take two stacks of those. There we go. Really? Oh, you know what? This is not considered to be. Input. There we go. I just had to make it an input. Now it's going to make these and it's going to spit it out into here. There we go. And I'm going to need what? 16 of those? I just need a few more. Let that cook up. I'm going to need more for something else here in a few minutes. There we go. We're still one short. Obviously. Math. Okay. One, two. Fail. Look at that. Total fail. Hello? Oh. <sighs> yeah. There we go. And now we have 16. Okay. I'll be back when I've got the others finished. They're going to take a while. Later, peeps. Hey peeps, guess what? We're out of time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've got some more work to do on our reactor. And if you come back the next episode, you'll see us finish it. And I'll be shooting stuff. That's right. We shoot stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the like button. Especially if you didn't like it. And uh, tell your friends. Favorite other stuff like that.
Have a good one, peeps. Later.